Hey guys, it's Colin with Skelton Business Equipment. I'm going to be showing you how to download and install print drivers for your Sharp copier uh, with a Mac computer. So the first step is to go to our website here, which is equipmybiz.com, and click the Sharp Print Drivers tab at the top. That will bring you to this page here. Uh, step one, select your model. Step two, select your operating system. So for the sake of this example, I have the MX5140 turned on. And then the operating system, I'm just going to choose the Mac OS driver package and click search. You'll get a couple of results here, uh, one for 10.4 through 10.9 and the other for 10.8 through 10.10. .10. If you have 10.9, I would recommend using this bottom one. Click download file. It's going to ask you to agree to the terms here. Click view and then just save this file to your desktop or wherever you'd like. Once that's done downloading, just click it to open it up. It will extract itself onto the desktop and you'll have a file folder here. So open this up, run the DMG file Once that opens up, you'll have more folders. Open the Mac OS X folder and then your uh, corresponding version. So you can click the Apple logo and click about this Mac to find your version number here. So I'm 10.9. I'm going to open this up, run this package. Uh, it's going to install the driver, so just click continue. Here's your terms. You can read that if you'd like click continue then click agree this takes up very little space on your computer so don't be concerned about that click install uh, type in the password for your computer here click install software it's going to write the files into your library printer library once you see the big check mark here you can click close if files are installed close all this stuff down uh, open your system preferences. If you don't have this icon here, you can click up here and go to system preferences. And then open your printers and scanners menu. We're going to click the plus to add a new printer. Now you, you may see it here in this nearby printer, but just ignore that for now. Uh, that adds the incorrect driver. Uh, so click add printer, scanner. Uh, we're going to go to the IP tab here. And then the IP address of this machine is 1.106. There's a link below uh, with instructions on how to print the NIC page out on your copier, which is the uh, has the IP on it. So we want to make sure that this option is on LPD, the protocol. It's gathering the printer information. It should automatically detect the model for us, which it does. 5140 PPD. Uh, you can change this here to the model if you'd like. Click Add. And it's going to ask us to configure the machine, so whatever options your machine has on it, um, just choose those here. Click OK. It's going to set it up, and here it is on our list. Now, if you use account codes on your copier, if you have to walk up and put in a code before you can print, or copy or scan, uh, you'll need to add that information in your driver. And how to do that is to just go to print anything at all, file print. If you're in Chrome like I am, you'll have to uh, click this print using system dialog here, but otherwise if you're in a PDF or anything, it should take you straight to this menu. So make sure you have the right printer selected. And on this there's a drop down menu with a line through it. You want to choose the job handling option here. Click authentication and then put your user number in right here. And click the little lock to save those settings. You may also want to default it to black and white. And that's under the color option. And put the color mode on black and white here. Also change the neutral gray and pure black print sliders all the way to black only. Check that uh, little lock there, and then click print, and it should save those settings for you. 
And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to use our Contact Us uh, form here on our website. Thank you.